in this session we will understand about the accounting equation the fundamental accounting equation the accounting equation states that assets equals liabilities plus equity now we've understood in the double entry system that all debits must equal credits so what are an asset an asset is a debit liabilities are always credited and similarly equities are also credited so we understand here that anyways the total of credits must equal the total of debits <coughs> Sorry. now let us understand this with few with a few examples now when a person starts a business with cash let's say I started a business with a cash of rupees 1 lakh all right let's say 1 million now what happens cash is an asset and we debit it and ca capital which comes in is a part of equity and we credit capital and that will be a credit all right let us understand what will be the impact of this on the financial statements now in the balance sheet we have capital which comes under the liabilities and the amount would be 1 million all right let me expand this so that there are no issues all right and similarly there will be cash which would which would be 1 million again So what happens the total of balance of the balance sheet are equal now what happens when I make a purchase of rupees 10,000 for cash what is the accounting entry we debit the purchases which would be 10,000 and since cash goes out there will be a cash credit of 10,000 Okay. Now what impact does it have on the income statement? Purchases are debited and the amount would be 10,000. Now see what happens. The total of the income statement should be the same but we do not have anything on the credit side. What happens? In order to balance this we would have to have a loss assuming that there are no other transactions and the amount would be this. Okay. this all right now where did this loss go the loss is a one-sided entry as of the moment but this has to go to the this has to go on the balance sheet okay so there will be a loss or let's keep it profit or loss I'm sorry all right and the amount would be 10,000 okay but at the same time we won't only dealt with the purchases which goes to the income statement there's a loss and that loss comes back to the balance sheet right but we see that the balance sheet does not match here why because there was a cash outflow of 10,000 which we've not considered as of the moment so what happened there's a reduction in cash so in the initial transaction we had an increase in cash by 1 million right now we have a decrease in cash by another 10,000 so this amount would go down by 10,000 all right okay but sorry this would be a negative amount so this is how your income statement of the balance sheet matches for this transaction and these transactions so there are only two transactions in the business as of the moment now what happens let's say there are some sales as well I don't like the loss in the financial statements so, so let's have some sales worth to be 20,000 for cash all right so what is the accounting entry the sales would be credited cash uh, would be debited all right okay so where does this go the sales goes to the credit side so there will be a sales 20,000 
this loss won't be here at the moment. All right, and there is an increase in cash of 20,000. All right, so this amount won't be here again. So now, what happens to this? The income statement is not matched, right? So in order to match the income statement, there has to be a profit. And what is the profit amount? It will be the difference between these two. And because this, the debit side is less, there will be a profit. All right. Now this profit again would come here. So this time, this will be a plus, All right? And this is how it matches again. All right. So we only dealt with cash, purchases, sales, and capital at the moment. Let us understand when there is a transaction that does not involve cash, okay? So we have another transaction where it is not for cash, but on credit. So we have a sales of 20,000 for credit, right? In this case, there has to be debtor, 20,000, and sales would be credited. So in this case, the sales amount would increase by another 20,000. All right. So you see now again, the difference is there. So what should be the profit amount? It should be 30,000. Okay. So this profit would come from here straight away, 30,000. Now you see, it does not match again. But ha what have we considered? We've considered the sales. The sales comes here the impact on sales on the profit, the profit is here. <coughs> Excuse me. But what happens to this? The debtors, debtors being an asset because we've debited it, it has to be an asset or an expense. So it has, it is the asset in this case. And therefore there has to be debtors which should come under the asset side. And what is the amount? The amount is 20,000 and boom, your balance sheet matches again. Wow. So this is how we see that every transaction in the business has to be an equal amount of debit and credit and accordingly every transaction in the business would have a final impact on the financial statements all right we have to understand another thing that the financial statements must always balance so if there's any differential amount it has to be balanced which will be taken to the financial statement or the next year accordingly Thank you.